Hello everybody and welcome to another PFL tutorial. Um, today we're going to learn how to make this cool radial blur effect and if I go ahead and play this you'll see it plays um, right when the shot hits um, when doing a Call of Duty edit and bam it shoots and hits and I'm actually going to show you how to create this today. So um, without further ado let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to delete this which is the layer it is and I'm going to create a new um, adjustment layer. Drag this below this and we'll go ahead and just uh, rename this to Radial Blur. And the reason I have my um, <clears throat> uh, volume here, because I have my DSR sound, but the reason I have this open is so you can see where the bass line hits, which is right here on the song, and the hit marker is right after it. So we want to start right here on this um, hit marker, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, click on our radial blur, hit the alt left bracket key to stop it, and then after the shot is done, which is there, we're going to end it. And that might be a little bit long, so I'm actually just going to shorten that up. Now all we have to do to create this cool effect is type in radial blur like this, and we can simply drag and drop that right onto our properties, and you'll see here it automatically um, adjusts it, and then you can go in and adjust the amount that it actually blurs it. Um, you know, to any amount that you want. You can see spin or zoom, and if you zoom, it does this cool effect like this, and you can adjust the center point so that it uh, blurs differently. Um, you can adjust the whole thing right in here if you just select it, um, and put the anti-aliasing to high if you really want it to look good, versus low, it's just kind of grainy. High is definitely better. Put this back at around like 10, maybe even a little less than that. I usually go with 6 to 8, just depending. And uh, we'll go ahead and then preview, RAM preview that, and it'll play through that little part there, and then it'll play it over, and bam, it does the little blur thing, um, as you can see on the screen, right when he shoots. And it looks really cool. It's a great effect, and people really seem to like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial that I made for you. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Also, comment below and let me know that you want more of these Call of Duty editing videos. Thanks, and have a great day.